Dragon from the Court of Camelot, defeat, King of the Britons, defeater of the Saxons, sovereign of all of England. And this is my trusty servant, Patsy. We have, searched, we have traveled the length and breadth of this land in search of knights who will join me in my Court of Camelot. May I speak to your Lord and Master? What? Did you say written on the wall? Yes. You know, you can get it off. And? You put two empty half the coconuts and you're banging them together. See what? We've been just the snows of winter covered this land through the kingdom of Marseille. Through? Where did you get the coconuts? We found them. Found them? In Marseille, in a coconut tropical. What do you mean? This is a temperate zone? The swallow may fly with the sun in the south, or the house martin or the plover may seek warmer climates in the winter. Yet these are not strangers to our land. Are you suggesting that coconuts migrate? Not at all. They could be carried by a swallow. What? A swallow carrying a coconut? It could grip by the husk. <laughs> it's not a matter of where he grips it. It's a simple question of weight ratio. A fine house bird cannot carry a one pound coconut. Look, will you tell your master that I'll offer from the cloth of Camelot this year? Listen, in order to maintain proper air speed velocity, a swallow must beat its wings four to three times per second. Right? Please. Am I right? I am not interested. You know, maybe it could have been an African swallow. I mean, an African swallow maybe, but not a European swallow. That's my point. I agree with that. Will you ask your master if he wants to join my court at Camelot? Then again, African swallows are non-migratory. So, they couldn't bring a coconut back anyway. Wait. Supposing two swallows carried it together, they're not going to have a long line. This will beg you to string a card candy. Oh, yeah, I like a word. Come back to Did you not just hear that insane conversation? You know, Yelena, I was thinking about it. What if it's an introduction? Yeah, they, you have to do an introduction. <laughs> you know, I was thinking about it. What if it's an introduction in like a song? Hmm, that ain't exactly right. Hold on a minute. Just sit right there. I'll tell you all about the place the King Arthur in West Great Britain, born and raised. And my friend is like tortured most of my slaves. Killing out Max, relaxing with her cool van, searching for some nights to help me build my school. <laughs> and then he came up and said, what's good? I need you to find a holy grail in your hood. I got to one little battle and my comments got scared. Yeah, just think when I say the same thing, we're being paired. I whistle from the, wait, whoa. <laughs> I pulled up from my, from my carriage about seven or eight and I yelled to the peasant. Yeah, hey, it's nine or eight. Looked at my kingdom, I was finally there. So now my throne, I'm king of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, awesome, guys. Yo. Oh, you have a, oh, you have a deep boom just not worthy, 
night. But the fight is mine. Uh, have not played. You've got no arms left. <laughs> yes, I have. Look. Uh -huh, I'll have your leg. Hey, uh, uh, yeah, you what? <laughs> 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 Come on, and how about you, chicken? <laughs> <laughs> You'll do well exactly. Oh, I'd slap my arms at you if I had me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> well, 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 you do exactly. Bleed on me. <laughs> <laughs> Why the vegetable? Come on. Come on. You're a lady. <laughs> no, not. The black knight's always trying. Come on, then. How about you?